All week long, KX News is showcasing stories about North Dakota that you may have never heard about or may want to become reacquainted with in our special Hidden History series. And tonight I'm honored to bring you the first in this special series as we highlight the oldest surviving courthouse in North Dakota. Visit the 1883 Stutzman County Courthouse in Jamestown. Take a stroll through its hallways and you'll feel as though you're taking a step back in time. Hello, you're in the treasurer's office? Yes, I am. Oh yeah, I hear you now. And as you're transported back in time, you'll learn all about the Stutzman County Courthouse's storied past. It took 10 months to construct the building, which is monumental, I think. And they moved in in August 1883. And it was then became a territorial building, and then when North Dakota became a state, which was in 1889, they had already had a statehood convention, the first held upstairs in our courtroom, so we consider this the birthplace of North Dakota. The birthplace of North Dakota is home to many unique features throughout. Every time I come to work, I see something that I hadn't seen before. There's 26 different patterns on the press tin. Um, that's one. The floors are original and the staircase going up to the courtroom, that is their wide treads and low rise. The building functioned not only as a courthouse, but also as school superintendent, treasurer, and county auditor offices with a jail on the basement level. Throughout the courthouse, there are interactive exhibits like this old fashioned calculator that allows you to crunch the numbers and then print a receipt. But though it has a vibrant past, the future of the 1883 Stutzman County Courthouse was once in question. As the years went by, the Jamestown community outgrew the courthouse. There was talk of tearing down the 1883 Stutzman County Courthouse and replacing it with a parking lot. But some in the community fought to save the building. Mary Faith Young told him, no, you're not gonna tear down that building because you're eroding our past and it needs to remain so that we have something from the past. And she organized a committee that were up in arms and told the county commissioners that no, we're not going to. And it was really controversial in Jamestown because half the citizens wanted to save it. The other half said, I ah, tear down the old building. The battle to keep the courthouse standing made its way all the way to the state Supreme Court. And the county lost the citizens of Jamestown won in the building stands. A battle of the courthouse won in the state's highest court. And all these years later, the building occasionally returns to its original purpose. And they had all these new courtrooms built next door. Well, during the pandemic, they were too tight, too small. And so they needed a place where they could spread out the jurors, prospective jurors. So they asked if they could use our courtroom for their jury trials. A rebirth of sorts for the courthouse considered the birthplace of North Dakota. Today, hanging on the wall of the courthouse hallway, a photo of the original Stutzman County Courthouse gang. Next to it, a recreation taken just a few years ago, showing that history has its place side by side with the present. And sometimes that history even comes full circle. Nicholas, I spent hours in that courthouse because there was so much to do sure. as you go from room to room, so much to see and learn, the interactive exhibits, and also get this, there's actually an escape room on the basement level where the jail used to be, so you can actually get locked up there now and try to escape. <laughs> uh -huh. So it was, it was truly a lot of fun to see it. Yeah, thank you. That was, that was a great story. Well,